Even in a quiet auditorium, on an empty stage, you can hear echoes of a certain actor that once filled the room. She would elevate everyone around her. She was bright, open-hearted. It was here on this Mount Lake Terrace High School stage where Lily Gladstone found her footing. My identity to the school became a little bit synonymous with being an actor. I ought to kill these white men who killed my family. Long before she became Molly in Killers of the Flower Moon, Gladstone grew up on the Blackfeet Reservation in Montana and moved to Terrace for her high school years. I loved going to school there because there was such an integration and focus on the arts along with academics, and it was such a diverse school. Like, you walk into that school and there's flags that represent um, all of the nations where people come from. And it felt so good to walk around carrying a Blackfeet flag. In fact, her peers even named her the most likely to win an Oscar. It's getting new life. It is, yeah. We were holding a, oh God, I think it's from Ikea, like those little, those little mannequins. Josh Ryder is in that picture with her. Theater kids together at Terrace and now runs the restaurant Betty on Seattle's Queen Anne Hill remaining friends with her to this day. You know, it would be really cool if uh, she gets to hold the real one. That's just part of Lily's generosity is that she wants to bring other people with her on this journey. Gladstone is aware of the significance of this moment after years of working in lesser seen films, shows, and teaching at organizations like Seattle-based nonprofit Red Eagle Soaring, long at the Daybreak Star Center, working with indigenous youth. While a lot of the world is just now learning who Lily is, our native community, uh, especially locally, has been familiar with her for a long time. Can you possibly put into words what this award season has meant for you? I think native people also just particularly feel we walk with our ancestors. It's, it's not just a platitude. Representation really matters. And she can still name those teachers that helped her too. I just loved a lot of the plays that Jeannie Berzovic chose to do. My elective senior year for English was Shakespeare, Steve Merlino's class. Teachers still there in that very auditorium. The next time I saw Lily after she graduated was 13 years later, and she was on a stage in Ashland at the Shakespeare Festival. And I gotta tell you, that was, it made me cry. I cry with joy. I mean, my husband looks over at me and I've got like tears in my eyes. He's like, are you okay? I'm like, I'm just so happy for her. And I think she's got the door, like not just swung open, but like kicked open. The only question left is whether that bold prediction made so many years ago will come true before the curtain drops on Sunday night. In Mount Lake Terrace, Chris Daniels, Como News.